Hey, everybody. It is Mike Young. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our first ever introductory meeting for the health optimization cruise that's going to take place in January of 2024, which is just about six months from now because we're we're in early July, around the same, actually well, mid-July now, around the same time frame. So it's about six months away. And I, I thank you so much for joining us at this meeting. What we plan on doing is having some presentations from some of the doctors, from Karen Dugan, who's going to be here. All three of them are going to be on board with us the entire cruise for the whole week in January. We're going to have a representative of Celebrity Cruise Lines, which is a cruise line that's going to be uh, with us for... Uh, be with us. It's the cruise line that's giving us a ship. Actually, it's a brand new ship. So they're going to tell us all about the Celebrity Ascent, which is the, the ship. And of course, we also have Liz, who is our travel agent. And if you're a prospective person that's looking to book this cruise, first of all, all the information, including other speakers that are not even with us today, can be found at healthoptimizationcruise.org. That's healthoptimizationcruise.org. And you will at some point talk to Liz because she'll be able to answer more questions for you about pricing, about specials. Sometimes there are specials going on and about uh, other things that are logistical in terms of the cruise. So right now, I think what we're going to do is hand it over to Liz. If I can find her in this long line of people, I am going to unmute there. I'm asking Liz here. I'm asking you to unmute, I think. Hopefully this is going to work. I'm new at this. <laughs> Okay, Liz, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. This is awesome. Liz, our, our travel agent, and I'm just going to hand it over to you. I'm going to mute myself. I'd like you to kind of just give a general overview of the cruise. And, and by the way, everybody who's out here, I think right now we've got about 30 participants, which is awesome. Uh, just kind of be listening and come up with some questions because we will have time at the end for questions. So go ahead, Liz. Yes, good afternoon. This is Liz Casanova with Escape to Sea Travel, your friendly travel agency here in Florida, although my number is 301, but I'm here in Florida. So very close to the port and excited about this big event that we're going to have it on board with celebrity Mike Young, Dr. Loomis, Karen, Dr. Harrington, and, and Elisa Wong. So Without any further ado, I just uh, wanted to uh, let all the other speakers take over right now, and we can talk more about uh, the health optimization cruise and the promotions that are going on, the 40% off onboard credit, and there's a, a lot of things that uh, we can deduct also in discounted on your fare, like uh, if you are uh, a senior, you are works for EMT, fire department, uh, law enforcement, you name it. So just let us know how we can help you to make this uh, cruise come true for you, and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you so much. Okay, Liz, would you like to please introduce uh, the representative from Celebrity Cruise Lines? We'll start off with that because what, what makes this cruise so special for me anyway is the fact that it's a brand new ship with the latest technology, some really cool features and just that it's new like everything's like the latest styles and everything and you're gonna feel like you i don't know just you're gonna be it's like you're living in a new house for for a week right so please go ahead and introduce uh our contacts there at celebrity yeah so we have today with us is david Menhaufer, and i guess he got a really German name like my descendants too. <laughs> we are so happy that he's here today to present the celebrity brand and tell us all about what's new coming up with the Ascent, the brand new ship. She's coming from Europe just for us. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> all right, David, it's your time now. Hi, everybody. Uh Okay, there we go. Can you hear me now? All right. In case, thanks so much, uh, Liz. Thanks for the great introduction. Mike, thank you very much for, for having me here uh, this evening. And uh, most importantly, thank you for choosing Celebrity Cruises to help host the health optimization cruise. Health and well-being is one of our key pillars when it comes to cruising and vacationing. Don't worry about it. There's going to be plenty to eat. There's plenty of entertainment. There's plenty to do on board, 
But just know that is one of our key pillars when it comes to cruising and vacationing and helping our guests experience everything that there is to offer when it comes to traveling, whether it be in the Caribbean, like this cruise will be taking you to, or places such as Europe, the Galapagos Islands, Asia, uh, Alaska, we really do go everywhere. So uh, we're really, really happy to help host this for 2024. And what makes it even that much better, and Mike touched on this, is the brand new, newest of the new Celebrity Ascent, which is still being constructed and built uh, as we speak and as we sit here tonight. So I do have some slides. I do have some uh, short little video to share with you a little bit later. So I'll, I'll wait for Liz and Mike to give me that cue. But uh, thank you all for joining us here tonight. And uh, I'll pass it on to our next speaker. All right, thank you so much. Yes, we'll have some time for that. Uh, can you all hear me? I just wanna make sure everybody can hear me. All right, good. Let, you mentioned uh, you know, the food. That's one of the hallmarks of this event, especially because we're all about health optimization. We're so thankful that Celebrity has agreed to basically prepare the food the way that we would want it to be prepared. And we run a nonprofit and through the nonprofit, we have what's called healthy vegan food, certified healthy vegan food. If you wanna learn more about it, go to healthyveganfood.info. That's healthyveganfood.info, but just know that all the food that we have is going to meet that requirement. Nobody's ever done an event like this. And in addition to that, there will be three meals, one for each day at sea, where there will be fully raw vegan in addition to that, which is in a whole other level. Uh, it may be something that you never experienced before. So we're really looking forward to that. So let's move on from that, though, because the food is so important. Now, and my, my belief is like 80% of your health is what you eat. So we're going to have that covered for you on the cruise. You're going to feel confident knowing that this is going to be like the vacation that you go on where you have fun and enjoy. And when you come back, you don't have to recover from that. You haven't gained a whole bunch of weight. You don't feel like you did something bad, you know, <laughs> and you'll be around like-minded friends. So let's start. Uh, let's actually hear. How about first, um, it, Dr. Dr. Jim Loomis, are you there? Let me uh, let me unmute you. I know this is a surprise. We didn't have any order. We're just kind of yep. doing this. Um... I've got it. I've okay. unmuted myself. There you go. Okay, you yeah. did it. Wonderful. So, uh, hi everybody. I'm uh, I'm Dr. Jim Loomis. I currently serve as the medical director at the Barnard Medical Center in Washington D.C. Some of you may be familiar with the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine and Neil Barnard, who's our president, and I run a a, a, a lifestyle medicine practice here in DC that focuses really on using uh, plant-based nutrition as well as other pillars of lifestyle medicine like exercise and stress management and, and things like that to, to help patients optimize their health. I'm very excited and, and honored to be part of this uh, adventure. Um, um, you'll meet here in a minute my colleague uh, Karen Dugan. Um, um, you know, I, I, I personally had a profound health transformation after after um, um, after transition to a plant-based diet about 10, 12 years ago, and, and that I lost about 40 or 50 pounds, dropped my cluster 100 points, reversed a whole plethora of chronic diseases, you know, sleep apnea and things like that, and, and really regained my, my health. And, um, and um, one reason we're excited to be on this cruise, and again, you'll meet Karen in a minute, uh, um, earlier this year, we, we launched a new project called The Doc and Chef, um, uh, which is the YouTube channel, educational YouTube channel. We're trying to help marry nutrition science to your plate of food. Uh, Karen and I, Karen is a, is a plant-based uh, culinary educator in, in, um, in St. Louis, where I moved from. And, you know, we were routinely getting the same kind of questions over and over, you know, where do you get your protein? Is soy bad for you? What about nightshades? What about gluten? Um, you know, on and on and on. And so, we decided to put together this YouTube channel uh, to help to help really um, educate people, uh, to, to, uh, educate people around the science of nutrition and translate that to your plate with 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 uh, uh, really tasty recipes. And what we're planning on doing is doing some live doc and chef presentations um, um, there on the cruise. It's going to be amazing. So. Um, I'll turn things over to Karen, and um, she can tell you about herself. And, and uh, again, I'm, I'm really honored to be part of this uh, grand adventure. Thanks, Jim. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Karen Dugan. I uh, adopted a plant-based diet in 2008, uh, where I lost my dad to cancer. Ten weeks after he passed away, I was diagnosed. So that was my one-two punch that I needed to kind of 
rock and roll this nutrition thing out. And uh, in 2008, they didn't say plant-based, they said vegan. Um, so I started STL Veg Girl, where St. Louis, where here in St. Louis, I started, uh, I went through a lot of different uh, educational channels and um, started teaching cooking classes, started a meal delivery service, was a private chef, um, and then went back into education. And in 2017, I opened up the nation's first and still only fully plant-based uh, culinary and nutrition educational center, the Center for Plant-Based Living, where I hold classes both in, in the shop and virtually, we have a membership. Um, in 2019, when I opened up the shop, we just call it the shop because this is a weirdly long name for a business. Um, I contacted Jim, um, who we've been friends for about 10, 12 years now. I said, listen, I need a medical component, a physician here in, in the business uh, to make it really like street legit, right? I needed some street cred. So I said, Jim, will you please be my medical director? He said, absolutely. So um, he's also the medical director here at the Center for Plant-Based Living. And yes, he has caught you up to speed with um, the Doc and Chef program, our Doc and Chef show, which is on YouTube, or you can find us at thedocandchef.com, where all of the episodes are there. They come out every other Sunday. Jim backs up every episode with a scientific blog post, and I print or I offer the recipe as well. And we're so excited to be part of this cruise. This is amazing for so many reasons. I mean, a brand new ship. Hello. Um, first, and by the way, I've never cruised before, so it's going to be my first cruise. Um, we are going to be doing, I think, two shows with two topics each, Jim and I. We're going to, we're going to cover soy. It will not give you man boobs. We're going to talk about ED. Well, if you're trying to get it up, trying to get it to stay up. Uh, we're going to talk about, um, fiber, which is my favorite F word. And I think we're going to talk about, oh yes, protein. You can get plenty of protein on a plant-based diet. Oh my gosh. Oldest question ever. Anyway, Jim is going to lead on the science. I'm going to show you what the science looks like on a plate and we're going to have a rocking time. Back to you, Mike. All right. That sounds fantastic. I was going to, you kind of already got into what I was going to ask you guys about. We'll, we'll get to again as we come back to you, which is what's going to happen on this cruise. Cause you all are going to be there, like you said, and you're, you're in this new venture called Doc and Chef, which is fantastic. And, uh, but the thing is people need to know that you're going to, you're going to, you're going to gain some, some real good knowledge uh, from both Karen and Dr. Loomis. And of course have the opportunity because we're all going to be dining together to see them you know, maybe, you know, ask a, a few questions. I don't know, uh, you know, however that, that flows, but the, the great thing is that you're going to be around everybody the whole time and just going to get that experience. It's really almost like an immersion, I'd say, right? It's it's an immersion because we're going to have this high food level. We're going to have the, the, the good talks, the good influences. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. Now, also, in addition to the two of you, uh, and this is all still under development. We're going to have some, some, we got some really cool things under development, actually, in terms of what's going to happen. We're still going to have another doctor, Dr. Scott Harrington from Vegan Primary Care. And he's there, Dr. Harrington, can you unmute yourself? You know how to do that? I think you do. <laughs> or I can do it for you. All right, we're good. Yes, you got it. So talk, talk, talk to us about you and Vegan Primary Care. All right. Yes, yes. I'm Dr. Scott Harrington. I'm a family practice doctor, also uh, board certified in lifestyle medicine. I uh, I started out in the army. They did all my training and everything. And um, my vegan origin story started when I was gaining weight in the army because they make you run. And uh, and I, I I basically failed trying to do typical weight loss. And that's when I saw the movie Forks Over Knives, and it just changed my life. I saw. Uh, the beauty of the plant-based diet. So I went in cold carrot all the way and oh my gosh, I had a, you know, my blood pressure improved, blood sugar, constipation, you know, everything was better. Uh, so since then it's been, uh, it's been, I've been singing it from the mountaintops. And after a while I was uh, telling more and more people about it. I decided to create my own practice called Vegan Primary Care. And, uh, and so I have a telemedicine practice where I reach out to over 26 states and can help you along if you have, if you have questions about a vegan diet or if you just need a primary care doctor uh, you know, that understands the vegan diet. Uh, there, there, you know, there's, there's other um, 
you know, vegan doctors and stuff, but uh, if I'm in your state and uh, so I offer, offer that service and uh, you know, I just really excited about the cruise because we'll be able to rub elbows and we'll be able to eat together and talk and we'll all have presentations. I'm sometimes I'm featured on chef AJ where I get to give a talk and it would be something kind of similar to that. We can come up with some new topics, whatever seems to be popular or what people want to know about as a primary care doctor. It's kind of like uh, I'm kind of a jack of all trades in a way where, you know, there's lots of topics that we discuss like heartburn and blood pressure, cholesterol and uh, constipation. And we can go into any of those types of topics. And so, um, I just, I really look forward to it and, you know, all the food's going to be healthy, vegan certified. So I'm really pumped and uh, I, I'm just really happy for this opportunity. All right. I am excited. Now, let me also let you guys know, because like I said, we, we actually have 32 people in this meeting right now, which is fantastic. Um, you may be saying, well, great. I've heard, I, I, you guys are doctors, you're knowledgeable. Karen, you, you probably know more about preparing food than anybody here. But what makes this whole experience like altogether different? And because I know, you know, if you heard me earlier, I said, well, this food is at a whole other level than you could get on any other vacation, plant-based vacation, vegan vacation. The biggest takeaway and all the details number are at healthyveganfood.info. But the biggest takeaway is that there's no added oil and no added salt in the food. And you, you just can't go out to your re local restaurant and find this stuff on the menu. Even if you go to a plant-based or vegan res restaurant, sometimes they might be able to give you something, but you're not going to get every single meal prepared for you in the same fashion. And because of that, as you will learn, if you're not, uh, if you don't, if not fully into the knowledge right now, you will learn from the doctors and from Karen here on the ship why this is so important. And you will feel yourself get better because the reality is you're only going to be as good as the people you hang around with. And if you're hanging around with everybody on this cruise that's into this thing, you're just going to get to a whole other level that you didn't think you could get to. And that's like the mat, I think that's the main benefit of, of a cruise like this. The people you're going to meet, the positive peer pressure, and that you're not going to have to be concerned at all about the food. So keep this in mind, actually, right now, formulating some questions for myself, for Liz, for the doctors. And let's go back to David uh with the the crews uh, i think are you there uh because i know yep. that you have a presentation where you're going to talk to us give us some more details about the ship right so you can go ahead and do that right now sure thing so i'm gonna uh yeah i'm gonna share my screen in just a moment and uh yeah i'm, I'm not gonna we, we we call it in you know when, when i do a lot of these presentations in some cases people call it uh death by powerpoint so i'm gonna be sure that i don't sit on one slide for too long or with any of that intention whatsoever, but uh, you don't mind, uh, Mike, if you could let me know, you should see a screen, uh, Celebrity Scent Health Optimization Cruise. Hope you can see that slide number one, quick thumbs up. Excellent, fantastic. Um, so really, uh, before I kind of jump into a lot of the great exciting stuff, I do want to say thank you to Liz and Escape to Sea Travel. One of the benefits of you know working with her and her travel agency as our one of our top partners is, you know, collectively, the umbrella company she works under, they do a huge chunk of business with Celebrity Cruises. So they are one of our top rated travel agency partners in all of the United States. Hence, some of the competitive pricing, the level of service, and those things that all of you will be experiencing before the cruise, during, and after. So moral of the story, you're in great hands with Liz. Uh, Mike, I know you and I are meeting uh, for the first time, but it, it seems like you definitely have your ducks in order, and I appreciate all the hard work you're doing uh, to get behind this. So I'm going to get into the celebrity cruises stuff, right? I'll talk to you about the new ship and all that, but obviously all you all of you do know, uh, please reach out to Liz as far as questions with pricing. Um, of course, we've included, so when you purchase um, your cabin or when you get into this group, you have the Wi-Fi included. You have your tips and gratuities included. You have our what we call the zero proof package included, which means you have unlimited drinks uh, as far as all of the amazing you know, juices, non-alcoholic cocktails, whatever it may be, uh, all within that package of non-alcoholic beverages, bottled water, everything you need. It's all there for you and it's included in the price. So those are some key things as far as the cruise itself goes. I will get into the ship in just a moment, but where are we going, right? 
what's more rejuvenating than a Caribbean cruise when you're out in the sun with some of these amazing ports of call, fantastic beaches, and a variety of excursions and experiences on land that you could take advantage of. I personally love this cruise, not only because of course, it's gonna be on one of our new ships, but the breakup of days at sea versus ports of call. So you'll have plenty of time to experience the destinations while also plenty of time to experience the ship, relax, rejuvenate, and do what you need to do to make sure you're getting everything out of this cruise along with all of the activities um, I say guest lecturers, obviously the, the, the variety of, of doctors and experts that'll be traveling with you and spending a lot of key time with you uh, to not only, you know, get to know each other, but the educational component that's tied into this. Round trip Fort Lauderdale covering Nassau, Bahamas, Cozumel, Mexico, and Grand Cayman. Uh, so again, this, this itinerary overall is top notch. Uh, plenty of you to do if you're into water sports, if you're into just soaking in that sun, whatever it may be, uh, there is something for everybody. And of course, a large variety of different acti activities for those adventure seekers that want something a little bit more active uh, versus maybe sitting around hanging out on the beach. So I like it all myself, but uh, really something for everybody. Let's talk about the ship. And it's funny because um, when Liz and I first started talking and, and, and she's been a rock star and, and I say she's been a rock star because you know, every day of, I, I say, you know, every other day, you know, throughout the week, she's emailing me or calling me, asking me questions, making sure, you know, we're getting all of our ducks in line and some of these things, and there's nothing we could do about it. The ship isn't finished yet. <laughs> and I say that and I joke around about it um, just because again, um, we're fine tuning and making sure everything is just near perfect before we roll her out as far as the celebrity ascent goes. So one of the great things about this is, you know, obviously we have amazing venues, uh, stateroom categories and cabins, um, uh, the amazing food, which Mike spoke to you about a bit. Um, and of course, everything else that there is on board our ship, but it's also being led by a brother tag team co-captain leadership team. Um, and I say this, it's Captain Demetrios and Captain Tassos. They are, um, they are brothers, as you can see, they look like twins to myself, but one is older than the other. And uh, they actually will be kind of rotating contracts based off of, uh, based off of, you know, when they're there. I think they're doing anywhere from three to four months on, uh, again, three to four months off. Uh, but you're going to be experiencing first in the industry regarding you know, these um, co-captains, so to speak, regarding the ship. The short video, and it is short, this is going to give you a little, uh, a little touch base and a sneak peek regarding their personalities as well. So sit back and enjoy. David, I'm not hearing uh, any sound on this. All right, give me one second. Uh, let's see if there's something I can do here. Mike, how about now? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah, I still don't hear any sound, unfortunately. Okay, I'm. Uh, I, I I hate to do it, but I'm. I, it's about a. I, I'm not going to continue going on the video. I don't want to dwell on this because it could take me 30 minutes finding out on the sound. I apologize about that. Um, typically, I try not to include videos on these virtual presentations because the sound. So, long story short, I apologize about that. <laughs> um, I will get you know what I'll do, Mike. I'll look to get you a copy of the video so you can take a look and maybe share it with everyone. Um, sorry about that, everyone. Um, the ship itself, again, this is the brand new Celebrity Ascent uh, debuting at the end of 2023 and uh, setting sail, of course, for the Caribbean into the new year. Sleeker profile, uh, more suites and staterooms, 
more retreat space, which is sweet. So that's another thing too. Um, Liz and, and, and Escape to, uh, to Sea Travel, you have certain pricing for the group and you have certain cabin categories like balcony, et cetera. If you want something a little bit different, like a suite, we have them. Just inquire with Liz. Uh, she can get you pricing and all that in case that's something that you do want to uh, take a look at and experience. The ship itself is built with the idea of more open space. If you've been on a cruise before, many cruise brands, they will go ahead and pack in as much as they can within one ship and one vessel. And in some cases, it causes more crowding. Or in some cases, it's not as pleasurable of experience even walking down a corridor or you know, when you're waiting to walk into the main dining room, what does that look like? So the attention to detail is key. And I'll share some slides in just a little bit regarding some imagery. We have the all-star team behind who's helped design this team, who's helped bring the culinary experiences on board our ships. Um, you know, I, I won't go everybody, everyone, you know, second from the right, Nate Berkus, he became famous from the Oprah Winfrey show, huge within the interior design world. Um, second from the left, that's Tom Wright. If anybody knows the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, his firm helped actually design the Burj Al Arab, and he was very active in the design of this ship, Celebrity Ascent. The resort deck, if you enjoy spending time out at the pool, maybe in the early morning, getting in a lap or two, you're definitely gonna wanna experience the pool deck and, and relax out there. Resort deck, this is up on deck 14 of Celebrity Ascent. I love this kind of cool different uh, piece of art there as far as the, uh, the gentleman holding the elephant on his back there, um, but plenty of room and plenty of open spaces. Um, I mentioned before, or I mentioned again, open spaces. So. Celebrity cruises, we take into consideration and we consider it just as important. What does the food taste like on your plate? That is just as important as what is the feel of the chair you're sitting in? What is the experience when you're sitting out on the resort deck or in a dining room or in your cabin? What, what does it look like when you're facing one direction, right? Um, it, again, for those of you who've been on cruise before, pool decks of old, You'd be sitting there in your deck chair and maybe staring at the side of a jacuzzi or hot tub and people in and out, and you, you know, because it's so crowded, you're not really seeing much other than people or the side of a wall or hot tub, things like that. We've opened up the spaces. Deck chairs uh, on the outer area are going to be facing just that way outwards. So you could actually experience the views of the ocean or the ports of call. The solarium, this is an adult only area. Uh, we don't get many kids overall. We're, we're not, we are a family friendly brand, but we're not specifically a family brand. So we don't get nearly as many kids as a lot of the other companies. We don't have water slides on our ships. Um, like I said, if you are planning on traveling with children, if there are, excuse me, if there are children traveling, of course, there's tons for them to do. I know Liz and I have been uh, in discussions too regarding um, the kids programs and how will that relate and how will that play out for this group. So uh, stay, stay, uh, stay in tune regarding uh, what's coming up for the kids and also what Celebrity does have to offer. The rooftop garden, another out, uh, outward facing area on the upper decks. Uh, these plunge pools that hang out off the side of the ship as well. It's a great area if you want to get away from that busier pool deck area or just relax and maybe the one of the deck chairs or side chairs there where you got your iPad or, or a nice book or you know, sit with some friends, good conversation. Sunset bar, this is in the aft of the ship and the sunset bar really truly has a, a Moroccan theme to it. Moroccan flavor to it. Um, they typically out here, you know, in the evening, in the afternoon, there'll be acoustic guitar players, uh, different entertainment taking place all throughout the ship, including the sunset bar. This is the heartbeat of the ship, city center of the Celebrity Cruises ship. Uh, this is called the Martini Bar. That's right there, dead center in the middle. But you'll notice in the image, especially on the left, you'll see one of our specialty restaurants called La Grand Bistro. But, uh, but basically every deck around here, kind of you can look down into the heartbeat right there in the city center regarding celebrity ascent. Eden, another specialty restaurant, but this really is a multifunctional type of space. Eden actually consists of three decks. Lower level would be one of the specialty restaurants. 
mid-level, which is on the left-hand side, that's that bar and lounge type area. And the upper level, which you can kind of see there in the distance, that's more of like a loungy uh, panoramic views of, again, this is uh, aft of the ship as well, as far as the back goes. Uh, the magic carpet. So this is one of a kind as far as the cruise industry goes. That outward platform and what you're seeing there on the right hand side, it's about the size of a tennis court, holds about 100 people. It is not an elevator. So people will not be on it while it moves. Don't worry about that. We're not gonna be taking you for a ride. But it, what it does, it works as a multifunctional um, platform that can be used uh, as an outward bar near the resort deck, lounge type of area. Um, certain days it'll go down to a restaurant we have called the Raw on Five, which is exactly that, Asian fusion, sushi, things like that. Um, but that goes down to uh, deck five for an extension of one of the restaurants. And then days like when you're in Grand Cayman, we have to tender off of the side of the ship. So the magic carpet, that platform will go down all the way down to deck two and works as an extension of the ship so that guests have an easier transition walking off of the ship onto a tender boat and then being you know, shipped off to, to Grand Cayman on those days. So uh, that's the magic carpet. Again, a unique function as far as celebrity goes and celebrity ascent. The theater, this was first of a kind too. Uh, Mike touched on this briefly as far as Celebrity Ascent bringing new technology um, on board. And, and this not only new technology when it comes to, maybe it's um, you know the room keys and getting in and out, you know using your phone to get into your cabin, um, but the huge LED screen there that works the background of all of our theater production shows. This was first of a kind where the stage actually protrudes out into the audience and the audience engulfs the stage versus like a typical Broadway show where everyone sits and everyone's facing the same direction. Now it's again, theater kind of theater of the round, if you will. The spa fitness center, the sea thermal suite, fully functioning spa services. If you're uh, again looking to get, uh, there are barber shops for the men, um, of course, beauty shops for the ladies. Uh, there's a, a crystallarium, crystal therapy room, salt therapy room, a variety of other types of treatments that you can get in addition to, again, the full fitness center that we have on board. But definitely take a look at the spa. If we have any shoppers, don't be shy. Feel free to raise your hand. We have plenty of shopping experiences on board. If you're looking to buy some, some new gear, whether that be jewelry, clothing, a variety of other things as far as the gift shops go as well. So eat and drink. Now we have a number of specialty restaurants. Um, Liz, again, if you haven't registered for the cruise yet or, or you, you're, you're, you're going to be registering and signing up for the cruise, um, we do take into account everyone has different dietary needs. And of course, I, I realize with this group, right, the theme is health optimization. Uh, so we do ask that everyone does and, and Liz has access to this. And we're gonna make sure everybody has an opportunity to complete that form as far as your dietary needs. I know there's some um, unique uh, and exclusive asks and, and, and some experiences that we're gonna be um, having for you as well. So we'll make sure we take care of that. Um, so we'll have that on record, but one of the first things all of our wait staff always does is if somebody sits at a restaurant, they're gonna be asking any special dietary needs. But of course, we're gonna be well in the know as far as what this group is looking to do and obviously what kind of food and dietary requirements the group does have. So variety of restaurants, as I did mention, um, that do, again, cater to every type of dietary need. So we'll make sure to be able to take care of you. The main dining room. So um, this is a little, this is again, a different approach. So if you've been on, on you know, larger cruise ships in the past, customarily you would have a main dining room. It would be a one, one dining room with two or three stories, right? Two or three stories where guests are, are, are positioned. On Celebrity Ascent, we actually have four main dining rooms. Within the main dining room, what we're gonna be doing for your group is we're actually gonna assign you one of these main dining rooms and one of these main areas of those dining rooms. So we're gonna to get to that, we have time, but uh, just so you know, the group will be eating all together. And uh, and I know we have some some specific meals. I know a few days of, of the cruise that we're gonna be taking care of you. Um, on Friday, actually, we have a, a big internal call. I think there's gonna be about 15 of us on the call all specifically about this cruise 
to make sure we are dotting our I's, crossing our T's and making sure that, uh, that you're in good hands and you're getting the experience that you're expecting uh, when on this cruise, so. Again, snapshot, as you could see, there's a big theme here, right? We are a foodie brand, um, but a big part of that as well as being known in the industry to help cater to different dietary needs. Hence why I truly believe this is a match made in heaven. And I think you're gonna be truly impressed with what our team has to offer when it comes to food and what we're offering. Now you'll see here, and that was one of the things, right? And Liz brought to my attention, she says, or uh, she had mentioned, you know, we're gonna go the zero proof package. And I said, well, Liz, I go, one of our staples in the industry are the variety of bars and lounges and all these amazing places to eat. Um, but rest assured, all of these bars and lounges have plenty of non-alcoholic beverages available, a wide variety and different things that uh, we can help you out with. Um, the spa area, we actually have the spa cafe, which has a lot of different options regarding um, dietary needs, uh, smoothies and different things like that too. So uh, definitely stay tuned regarding what's to come. Um, pool bar, world-class bar, as I mentioned, I don't want to sit on any of these for too long, but uh, let's talk about the cabins and the staterooms. I mentioned previously, Liz, uh, and I don't want to take up too much time. I'm sorry, Mike, once I get going, I get going. So I, I, I'll fly through this stuff or just give me, you know, pull the hook out. But um, we have inside and ocean view staterooms available, but I know um, Liz has a number of cabins uh, set aside. One of the new game-changing style staterooms Celebrity has is called the Infinite Veranda. When you look at this image here, it looks like a traditional veranda or a balcony style cabin. But as you're looking out into that balcony space, you'll see that the, the floor to ceiling window space, but right across the middle, almost right across the horizon line, you'll see that white bar, that white panel above or that above that white bar, that top panel of glass by the push of a button, an iPad, that slot comes down. And now you have that open, you're open to the elements, right? That cool breeze, a little bit more sunlight in your room, whatever it may be. These infinite verandas were created to create more space within the cabin while keeping the window closed. Option one, option two is lowering that window. And again, being that added exposure to the elements on whether it be a cool day. Um, I actually personally, <laughs> when I've cruised in the infinite brand, I actually keep those, those, uh, French doors, according to I keep them actually wide open. I close the window at night. Um, but kind of, I have that, that view, especially first thing in the morning. It's phenomenal. Aqua class is another category cabin that we do have. This is that, um, that in between a regular balcony or infinite veranda and a suite. So that's kind of that, that middle of the road hybrid. Um, Blue is the main dining room for this cabin category. And blue Aqua Class has a spa theme to it. So you get upgraded bed linens and pillows, fresh fruit and flowers delivered to the cabin on a daily basis. Access to Persian Garden and the thermal spa that you see there in the bottom right hand corner, free of charge. Um, so things like that with Aqua Class is another cabin category. If you're exploring different options, Liz can definitely help you out. And then we have the retreat. So if you're looking to really enhance your experience, um, obviously we have the retreat, which is our suite class. I won't sit on any of these for too long, but just know we have our beginning suite, which is called the Sky Suite. Obviously a lot more square footage. Um, when you book a suite, you actually get all of the uh, perks included and then additional onboard credits as well. Royal Suite. And hopefully as you're, you know, as I'm, I'm going through this, and I don't mean to go too fast, but um, you'll see the decor. The, it's very modern. Um, hence, you know, going back to the interior design team, like a Nate Barkis, Kelly Hoppin from the UK. Uh, these various designers really helped us create this ambiance that isn't, you know, gone are the days <laughs> of not only the, the, the tacky um, decor, but we're also not the cruise brand that's going to be asking everybody to get up and do the chicken dance every second. Um, we don't necessarily do the belly flop competition, the things that kind of the old school way of cruising used to be as far as we're concerned goes. Uh, so it's a little bit more premium, if you will, as far as the overall experience goes. I have nothing, nothing against a good chicken dance. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> so 
that's really it. I just want to give you a little bit of highlights. Obviously, I didn't want to show you everything because something's got to be there for a little bit more surprise. Um, a lot more information can be found online, um, but you are, again, in great hands with Liz um, and, of course, Mike and the team. So we appreciate choosing Celebrity Cruises. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I will pass it back to Mike. All right. Thank you so much, David. That's awesome. And actually, I'm kind of glad we didn't have time for that video with the sound. I will get a link to that. So if someone's watching this on the replay, there will be a link below where you can watch the video. It would just take up even more time and we wouldn't be able to do questions. So hopefully you all have been thinking of questions for us, not only for the doctors, for Karen, for David, for Liz, for myself, just anything about the, the, uh, the cruise programming, maybe about the thought behind the concept that we're doing too, and why this is different. Because celebrity, I guess like David said, you, you all are very forward thinking. I can see that in the design. I, I feel like already, like I, I think I, I, I did buy a, a new house in 1994, but it, that house does not look new anymore, okay? <laughs> this looks like I'm going into a brand new, like multi-million dollar house, okay? And that's where I'm gonna stay for a week. So I am very much looking forward to that because that's not where I live, uh, but I'll be living here for a week. And I like the fact that you're, you're, you are you mentioned that celebrity is forward thinking because that's what this whole concept that we have with the health optimization cruise is. We're thinking what's next. Actually, my wife asked me, people keep asking me like, where are you guys from? Because we travel all the time. And the, the answer now is I'm from the future. <laughs> that's, that's what I tell people. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's what we're all doing here. We're all of a similar mindset and we can see where things are going and we're just going to get there before everybody else. So now I don't want to take up any more time. I think we have about 10 minutes now before uh, 6 PM, actually a little bit more 13, 14 minutes. And um, please, if you have questions and I hope that you do just go ahead and unmute yourself and just say hi, and we'll just go one at a time. Otherwise I can unmute people, but I've got this giant list of 33 people over here to go through. <laughs> so uh, feel free to, you know, hopefully you've got that formulating in your mind. Uh, just go ahead and unmute yourself. First person can go right now. And if if we don't have any questions immediately, uh, I see someone, Michelle, are you there? Hey, Mike. Yes. Um, question for Liz. The package prices, oh, I see that. It includes an inside stateroom, or ocean view or veranda. So is that an infinite veranda on the high end of the packages, Liz? All right, Liz has to unmute herself. Let me make sure, let me do that for her. She's not familiar. Liz, go ahead and unmute yourself. I think you are unmuted now. Yeah, yes, I am. Okay, yes, Michelle, we have many options when it comes to state rooms of your choice. Uh, not only the deluxe inside, you know, when you're thinking about celebrity, you have to think about the deluxe, you know, so we call the deluxe inside, we also have, uh, you know, the uh, ocean view, there is a new concept that is incredible, that uh, David probably can even tell us about it on this brand new ship, which is the porthole with the veranda. Okay, we haven't seen anything like that, you know, in other cruise lines before, but celebrity. Wow. And uh, we also have, you know, the infinity veranda, which is like he said, uh, the description and he mentioned also in the photo, which is an incredible view of the ocean, you know, it's a uh, floor to ceiling, wall to wall, a uh, huge, you know, window and you push at the button and uh, you got it all. You got Next that question. Caribbean breeze. <laughs> How many cabins in total are on this ship? Is uh, this cat? Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, this ship has just over 1,500 cabins. And how full is this itinerary for January that we're doing this on? Uh, honestly, Michelle, I would have to check and see. I, I'm not sure how full it is. The, the nice thing is. Uh, a large amount of our our sailings have been filling up a lot more, and and new sh new ships within the first few months mm -hmm. tend to sell out. <laughs> and how many decks is yep. it? The ship is fifteen decks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I have a question for the lifestyle physicians. Mm -hmm. Um. Love the lifestyle medicine modality and have heard many interviews on plant strong and chef AJ. Can one of you remind me the five spokes again, 
exercise, stress management, diet, is sleep one of them? And then what's the fifth one? Social connections. And then also tobacco and alcohol. Okay, so did I get the five wrong? There's seven, I think, technically. But so it's social connections, sleep, I think stress management, movement, food, nutrition, and substances, tobacco and alcohol. I, th I think that's right. Scott, you can you 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 can chime in here. I think that's most of them. <laughs> okay. I, you, you, you're 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 muted, Scott. Yeah, Dr. Herring, let me let me unmute. There you there you go, Dr. Herring. Go ahead. So I, I think I use the thing pearls, plant-based diet, exercise, avoiding avoiding uh, toxic substances like cigarettes and things, alcohol, rest, uh, loving relationships, and sleep. Yeah. That's what I kind of remember. Is the I pearl, like that. I like pearls that. Pearls of, uh, but uh, my brain, sometimes I forget one. I'm like, what? Well, I better go back to my ac acronym. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's all my questions. Okay, uh, I just want to add in here very quickly that uh, one of the things that you mentioned was alcohol, avoiding alcohol, and obviously there are, is, will be alcohol served on the ship, but we don't serve it in our healthy vegan food designation. There is no, there is no alcohol allowed, so you won't be served any by us, and we won't have any alcoholic sponsors, and we are working with a company called Mitra 9 if you want alternatives that are not even yet available on Celebrity, and we're hoping that Celebrity will partner with them maybe at some point in the future but there will be kava and kratom type beverages and there will be some educational components about those as well on this cruise ship program that we're developing right now. So um, there was, a, I saw someone, Celeste, did you text a question? I, I think that Celeste texted a question. And I didn't see it if anyone saw it. No, I just, I was just saying that about the list of the list of things that are important in our life. And I was just thinking that maybe on the list would have been like our thoughts or the way we think, you know? So anyway, it's a, an old conversation that you guys were having a few minutes ago. Yeah, Dr. Loomis and, and Dr. Harrington, uh, what are your thoughts about thoughts? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I could, uh, if I'm, if I'm up to bat, I guess, um, you know, these, um, I, I, I kind of, I kind of have this, uh, this, um, suspicion that the modern world is meant to depress us basically. Uh, and so we're always sort of like fighting this sort of baseline. Um, there's something called hedonistic adaptation, where if you get a Lamborghini you're super happy that you have a Lamborghini, but after a week or two, it's just the car that gets you to, to work. And so the concept is that, you know, like you start to become kind of unhappy. So you have to do the pillars of lifestyle medicine to kind of keep, keep yourself on this positive, uh, on the right foot, basically. Uh, and that, and, and Dr. Loomis would point it out about the loving relationships and uh, doc, Dr. Ornish kind of put, points this out, that lonely, loneliness, can be a big factor uh, in, in your in your life, and so maintaining relationships, and that's not just in, uh, intimacy, like physical intimacy. It's also being part of social networks uh, uh, that that get you out and about and out of your shell and, and this kind of thing. So um, that that's kind of how I approach it. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would agree with that. I, you know, when I talk to patients, I, I the, the the official pillars from the American College of Lifestyle Medicine are whole food predominant eating, physical activity, restroom, sleep, stress management, as Scott's already said, voids risky substance, and positive social connections. I talk about emotional health uh, in general, and that, that's about how we think, how we stress, how we sleep, all that. I kind of put all that together, the social connections we have, but same stuff. Okay. Uh, I, re I realize I misspoke. I said uh, stress, uh, I said rest and sleep, but it was stress and stress management techniques. And, and and sleep. Yeah. All right, uh, I, some questions came through text. Let me get through them as fast as I can. I've been typing them into my phone <laughs> as I've been seeing them. All right, someone asked about raw. If you're fully raw, will there be more options other than just the three prepared raw meals? We won't have any at uh, the meals except for maybe uh, an item or two. However, um, there will be the, 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 the buffet where I know I've gone on cruises before. I spent a lot of time at the, the, the 
cut up raw food area <laughs> for fruit on the buffet. So you, you'll still have access to that. That kind of dovetails a little bit with the other question, which was what about non-vegan people? Can they book rooms, separate rooms? They don't have to book anything separate. They can book with us. Anyone's entitled to, as long as they book with us, they can use, they can dine with us for our special menu or they can dine with the rest of the ship. Uh, I guess uh, we'd have to work that out exactly how that would go, but talk with Liz privately. And this is one of the benefits of having this on a boat where you have traditional meals available is that if you're in a partnership where one person's onto this whole food plant-based, you know, healthy vegan food that we're going to offer versus someone who's on the standard American diet, you can both still go and still get something out of it. It'd be a very valuable experience. Another question was about exercise. We're still developing the programs, but yes, exercise is incredibly important. By the way, I'm standing up. Just so you know, I'm not even sitting down in my video, okay? Yeah, so it's Dr. Harrington, I think. Okay, exercise is it. Yeah, we don't, we, sitting is a new smoking. We are going to have movement available. If we could eat standing up, maybe we could even do that. I don't even know. I'm just making this up as I go along. The other thing is, is there going to be programming all day? That was another question I saw. We would love that. We have another uh, another person giving lectures. Uh, hopefully we can hear from Karen here in a minute too, but also um, it was Lisa Wong from the Center for Healing by Design. She's been at many of our events. She's gonna be a speaker as well. We intend to have programming all the time so that you're not bored or you even have options of programming that are specific to this cruise. That's our hope, that's our goal. So the, the, the way we get there is by selling out everything we have because that way we can bring more people on. And let's see, sitting and smoking, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, and so that I think answers all the questions I saw. If I forgot some, please unmute your microphone and um, ask your question, because we still have a few minutes. We have less than five minutes, but we do have some time. So Sue, I think you're unmuted yeah. yourself, go ahead. Uh, yes, I had a question just about the cost of the cruise that I see the three prices listed, but they mentioned that could include or you could also get your fees going to and from the boat or whatever. So could someone just speak to the general, you know, the cost of the cruise and what all it's included, the discounts they kind of mentioned, things like that. Liz, that's for you, I think. Hi, Sue. Good to hear from Hi, you. Liz. We talked yes. yesterday. <laughs> yes, we did. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so the all-inclusive uh, group uh, prices that we have, it includes, you know, the basically the classic drinks, which we are always switching to the zero proof drinks, which you can have, you know, virgin cocktails, you can have, you know, the smoothies, the organic teas, you know, incredible uh, selection of uh, special water, imported water, Pellegrino water, whatever, and with the tips included, plus you have the basic Wi-Fi with your tips included, and also the crew appreciation gratuities are included in there. Of course, the events on board, your port taxes and your government fees are also included. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, and um, Karen, actually, well, there's another question I think coming in. Uh, a new ship. Okay, someone's asking about nervous being a new ship. Will this be the maiden voyage? I don't think so. David, can you answer that? No, no, it will not be actually. I will be on, um, there's cruises actually taking place in November on Celebrity Ascent. Um, the, the, I mean, the ship's coming all the way over from Europe to begin with, right? It's coming from the shipyard. She does, you know, dozens of test voyages prior to prior to even setting sail from Europe. So she'll come over to Florida. We do some pre-inaugural type of sailings, some shorter ones. Then we have some huge festivities at the end of November, early December. And then we have traditional guest sailings throughout the entire month of December. And then waiting for all of you in that uh, January timeframe. All right, Jill, go to healthy, oh, sorry, healthoptimizationcruise.org. Jill just asked where she can get all this information. Healthoptimizationcruise.org. Everything, including all of Liz's contact information is there. Uh, thank you, uh, David, for that. Actually, I, I'm sorry, I, I want to make sure I get that in because I know we're running very short on time here. And Karen, I wanted to get you in here one more time, if I could, if you're still there, uh, because Karen is a chef, uh, our chef. She will not be preparing the food on the cruise line because David said, Celebrity has their own team of professional chefs that are used to this ship and they will be because they're going to have practice. I know that was the question, right? There will be practice. They're going to they're going to iron out any of the wrinkles or whatever is going on with the ship. So by the time so we'll get in there at just exactly the right time, actually, is what it sounds like, you know, and um, Karen, are you there? If you are, could you 
uh, just tell us anything more about uh, the food component. And I think it'll be great having you there because you'll be able to watch the food as it comes out. You're the expert, Karen, in terms of uh, preparing the food, and you'll be able to give us real-time feedback, actually, as to what's going on. Well, I'm hoping to. Yeah, we just need to talk about insurance and getting me back in that kitchen. Um, <laughs> but um, no, if, if, just to just for a second, the Doc and Chef shows, um, we are still hammering out those menus and making sure we can talk with celebrity and get all the ingredients and all the tools and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're very flexible. So everybody will also be leaving with the recipes. So um, if there's anything that you want to try at home, I encourage you to do that. And we're, again, we're still hammering things out just, just like you guys are. That sounds awesome. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so we're, we're learning stuff here uh, in real time. And I think we're just about out of time. Speaking of time, if uh, I have six o'clock, if there is one last question, just someone unmute themselves or any. So, Mike, there's a couple, there's been two questions about continuing education credits, both CME for, and then also one for nurses. I, I don't know the answer to that, but I just want to be sure those were addressed because that's come up a couple of times in the chat. We are not offering that. The doc and chef is not uh, eligible for CMEs. Okay, we, we're still looking at that. I know Dr. Harrington has given me some information a long time ago about this. Uh, and uh, we, it's still a possibility. I, I don't know. I don't know, but it's still a possibility. So I think that's it. I think we have completed the, the, uh, the one hour, uh, just about an hour here. So thank you for joining us. If you have any other questions, we're gonna post this on our YouTube channel. We're gonna get other copies out to other people where they can post it as well. Just wherever you're watching it, just comment with your questions or go to healthy, I'm oh, sorry, healthoptimizationcruise.org. Healthyveganfood.info is the food. That's the parameters for the food, healthyveganfood.info healthoptimizationcruise.org is going to be updated with more speakers as we get more speakers. People ask about exercise. We will have an itinerary, but all of that probably won't be available until probably the month before the cruise. It's going to take us that long to put everything together. But do keep in mind that, yes, this ship is this ship is selling rooms fast. Just like David said, it's a brand new ship. It's, it's the most sought after type of a vacation that anybody could possibly want. So please reserve now. The other thing is there are deadlines, Liz. I think it's like September, late September. Is that right? The actual deadline for this. So you got to act soon, right? Liz, September 8th will be the deadline for final payment. Okay. So yeah, definitely contact Liz. So that's it. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Loomis, Karen, Dr. Harrington, Liz, and David, and all the attendees. Like I said, we had over 30 people on this call, which is fantastic. Uh, uh, this is you know, a first year event, just to remind you, no one's ever done anything like this, but we expect this to be more of this in the future, more of it, uh, bigger events. And um, someone asked if there's a cap on the group, not at this time, but there might be. <laughs> so make sure you reserve your room and we'll see you there on the ship in January. So bye-bye everybody. Bye. bye, thank you. Bye. bye. Thank you. Welcome.